Mexico City's water crisis is tragic for the people experiencing it. But in a historical perspective, it also has a comic aspect. The city stands on what was once the floor of a large lake. It evolved into the world's largest city by draining off the water that surrounded it. The area where the city is now expanding was originally known as Anahuac, the land by the water. The Spanish took this Aztec stronghold in 1521. It was then the seat of a flourishing Indian civilization known as the Stone in the Rising Water, and the economy was based on cultivation of highly fertile and artificial islands in the lake. All that now remain are a few luxuriant reminders of a civilization that quite literally rested on water. The conquistadors drained off the water, initially for military reasons. The new capital was built on what was left of the old one, and the canals and water were buried beneath a carapace of concrete to enable the town to expand. We are left with an ecological park, a park that affords ample time for reflection on the follies of the past. But former sins are now exacting retribution. In the early 1980s, Mexico City was forced to turn for its water to sources 100 kilometers distant, to an area 1,000 meters lower than the city itself. In the 1990s, it had to look still further afield, 200 kilometers away for fresh water, to a still lower source 2,000 meters below the altitude of the city. Even so, thousands of pumping stations are busy depleting the groundwater far faster than it can be replaced. Beneath the cathedral, in the heart of the city, a desperate battle is being fought. Mexico City, The city has been sinking at a dramatic rate. Part of the central area is subsiding at a rate of one centimeter every 14 days. Under the old cathedral, 200 men have been toiling since 1989 in an attempt to save it. They are not working against time, but against the city's thirst. When the water table sinks, the ground sinks unevenly. By a seemingly cruel irony of fate, the consequences of an arrogant decision taken in the 16th century are now being felt. The cathedral was built right on top of an Aztec temple, as if to demonstrate that the incoming god was much more powerful than the Aztec gods.